Hey there YouTubers, here's another meal. Um, using some flat bread. This is multigrain with flax. It's got omega acids, low in calories. It has only has 6% of carbs, uh, no cholesterol, no saturated fat, and it's got a lot of dietary fiber, low in calories, yada yada yada. So I'm gonna make a wrap. Got on a plate, they're very thin. I got some chicken here that I cooked up. I used uh, some Caribbean jerk seasoning. And I have some onions and mushrooms cooked in with it. So we got onions, mushrooms, and chicken in there. And we will add some fresh organic lettuce, some low fat cheese on it. Now I'll wrap it up. And it's all wrapped up nice. This is my second one, so I can attest that it's good, but I'll take another bite. And that is good stuff, YouTubers. Try and eat a little healthier. Another meal uh, goes back to the manager's special. This was, I got about $2 off on it. I got to cook it today. So I'm going to cook up this steak. Hold the phone. So I'm going to go with this dry rub, this A1 cracked pepper. I showed it the other day. It was 99 cents. So we're gonna give this give this a go. I'm gonna sit here on there and get some going to it. All right. So we're gonna heat this puppy up with some Pam, and this little steak will go on there. I get a good sear on this steak, so you need. Pretty good hot pan to get it going. Okay, gonna put this sucker down. Got a nice good sear on it. Some more of the A1 seasoning on the other side. Just looking for a nice sear. And always remember when you're cooking a steak, if you complain because it's tough, usually it's because you went straight from the refrigerator to the stove or the grill or the whatever you got to give you got to give steak a chance to warm up before you cook it and then you also have to let it rest before you start cutting it we're gonna put some spray on the grill on the new wave oven and we'll show you what's gonna happen got a good char on that steak and I'm gonna put it in the new wave and then Steak. I'm gonna give it about seven to eight minutes and away it goes. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. That's a regular baked potato. It's I washed it, cleaned it up a little bit. I didn't bother peeling it and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Alright, somebody told me about this. I've never tried it before, but basically what you do is you take a regular baked potato and I sliced it about three quarters of the way through on the whole potato. I messed up one part and cut the end off, but I see that. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to cover it with olive oil, some drizzle olive oil over it, and then what I did was I kind of held the pieces parts open and got olive oil down inside it. Use butter if you choose, and now I will put it on the new wave oven. I'll throw these pieces in just to see what they do. I'm going to pour the rest of the olive oil over it. And I guess you can do this in a microwave too. They said it only takes about six minutes. This is supposed to take like a half an hour, but I'm going to start off. I'm going to do it on high. They said 400, and this is about 350, I think, is what this tops out at. But I'm going to put it on for 25 minutes and see what it does. And hopefully it will turn out good. It's supposed to be like sort of like french fries kind of taste to them. And you can use butter instead of olive oil if you choose. But I thought it looked pretty cool, worth a shot. And at the end, I'll tell you the truth. Dinner's all done. I uh, cut the steak. Looks good. I like that uh, A1 seasoning. Mushrooms as usual, gotta have those are always good. And this potato thing, it fanned out a little bit more. There's a piece of it. 
And I get the idea of where they're saying kind of French fries. I want to call them French fries, but it tastes good. It's a good way to do a potato. I just put some uh, olive oil and then I put some garlic salt on it. You could doctor it up with cheese and all that junk if you want to. But there you go, YouTubers. Have a great and wonderful day. I actually think this came out pretty good. I got a good sear on the outside and it's nice and rare on the inside. I've always been a fan of like London broil, so it's that idea. And these potatoes are pretty good fanned like that. Gives them a little bit more texture, a little bit more crunch. Again, as always, have a great and wonderful day.